Hey guys, Poster here, and today's video is a little different to the usual technical analysis. I thought I would mix it up and do something different whilst the markets are a little boring. So we're going to talk about some NFTs. Now today I'm going to do a super quick and informative project overview of the NFT project named Street Melts. Now you might be wondering how much I've been paid to promote this project, but full disclaimer here, I've been paid nothing, but I am a core member of the Street Melts team and I have been since November. I'm going to cover what the project is aiming to achieve, the utility of the NFTs themselves, details of the upcoming society collection drop and more. So without further ado, let's get started by having a look at what the overall goal of Street Melts is. So we're going to start by taking a look at the official Street Melts website and right at the top of the page here we can see a little bit of information about the two main missions, the two main goals that Street Melts is trying to achieve. So what I'll do is just expand on these in a little bit more detail. The first one being that we want to connect NFTs with the world of fashion by creating collaborative and exclusive merchandise with other NFT projects and established fashion brands. So. What this basically means is that we want to be the the well-known project that projects and clothing lines come to in the NFT space when trying to bring in fashion and collaborative merch and clothing into the metaverse. So I think the easiest way to put this, which was really well put on a tweet that I seen after the Sappy Seal space last night by Tariq, is that Streamhouse is building the supreme of the metaverse. And I think it's really like that aha moment where the viewers and you guys really understand what that means when you see this. Uh, the reason for this is because we want to be able to connect and bridge that gap between fashion and the metaverse by being the, the team that brings in these established fashion brands, but also establish a good relationship, a long-term relationship with the more well-known and the popular and the reputable NFT projects who are already in the space. So that's what we're trying to, to do there. We've got some really good and cool partners lined up to achieve that, starting with Sappy Seals, which was announced last night. So really good start for us there. And we will continue to move forward with that after the society collection drop, which I'll get into in a little bit later into this uh, video. So the other one, uh, the other goal, the mission, is to make a positive impact in the world by donating to schools worldwide. And the goal there is to fund art facilities which will pave the way for the next generation of NFT artists. So of course, we want to give back. We want to really bring a positive impact into the upcoming generations, the, the, the youngsters who are looking to get into the NFT space. And there's a little bit of a story behind that which I'll get into again shortly. But yeah, basically we're going to bring in these artist accelerator programs where we can really help and make a difference there. So they are the two main goals of Street Melts. And now I will dive a little bit deeper into the story so far and what some of this means. So what I'll do is briefly cover the story so far. So as we can see on the screen on OpenSea, there is a Street Melts Genesis collection already out there. 1.4k items and the reason for this is because the founder Zane kicked this project off in August all on his own with no real technical skills or coding ability and really wanted to just prove a point that artists can get started in the NFT space without them uh, relevant technical skills to be able to launch some smart contracts and, and that kind of stuff. So what Zane did was basically manually minted all 1.4k items. He did it on weekly drops. Some of them were selling out within five or 10 minutes, which was really, really impressive. And one of the things that definitely caught my eyes when I first picked up my first uh, street melt. And I think the message behind that really, you know, it was so kind of strong in the fact that, you know, we don't, if you're willing to put the work in as an artist, and if you're happy to go through them tedious and stressful processes, it is possible and you don't need them um, development skills to really get started. Now from this, obviously a smaller collection, which now becomes the OG collection. Um, this basically has enabled Zane to expand the team, bring people like myself in to, to really take that workload off him and, and move the project forward, especially with the launch of the Society Collection. 
It's been able to start the first lines of merchandise exclusive to the street melt holders. So a lot of good stuff has come from the funding of this project and it has been able to advance things and move things forward towards the long-term goals. So, I mean, just looking at the floor price and the actual quality of the art, not to you know give uh, Zayn too much of an ego boost here because he won't uh, live it down. Um, but you know he's a good guy. I'm only joking. But yeah, looking at the art here, um, it is really really impressive. It's definitely unique compared to a lot of these projects that are launching at the moment. And you know a lot of good stuff is to come. So just a little bit of background there on what Street Melts is all about, what's happened so far. But I think the main purpose of this video and what people will be most excited about is next, which is talking about the upcoming Society Collection. Before we dive into the finer details of the Society Collection launch next week, I do want to just highlight something that we make really clear on the website. So I think typically people, when they see the news that a project is launching a second collection, sometimes the first thing that springs to mind is money grab. And one thing that we want to make really clear here is that if you actually look at the Genesis collection that we've just covered, to be very precise, 1,446 items, and then the upcoming Society collection being 7,777 items, the total as marked out on the website is 9,223 collection pieces in total. So I think the way to see this is a Street Melts collection of under 10K, which is the typical mark for a lot of projects, split across two with that relevant story behind it, um, rather than it just being, you know, we're launching a second collection because we want to, you know. The Genesis collection was always, the purpose of it was always to just basically get things up and running and make it possible for the Society collection and them long-term goals that we mentioned earlier be possible. So that's one thing to make super, super clear before we get started into the actual minting details, etc. But just to kind of recap the main points of the Society Collection, the mint price will be 0.06 Ethereum um, per piece. The whitelisting has been going on for a little while now. We've been whitelisting through um, Twitter games, um, through Twitter giveaways, through Discord uh, activities, and also the easiest way to actually be um, whitelisted is by holding a Genesis uh, melt. So that's the easiest way to actually secure it, otherwise it is in the hands of giveaways and games. So just to make that really clear, 0 0.06, whitelist is still open and the official launch for pre-sale will be on the 27th of Jan, with public sale being on the 28th, 24 hours after. So we did that purposely, so people didn't feel like they really needed to rush to uh, min in the pre-sale. We want to make sure people have the opportunity to uh, find a better time for gas prices rather than everybody just rushing to the gates. Uh, and then after the public sale on the 28th, the uh, reveal of the melts will actually be um, around about the 29th or 30th, depending on how things go there. So that's the current roadmap in terms of how things will look next week. Um, in terms of how many um, melts can be minted per wallet, that is to be confirmed, but it is very likely that it will be three mints per wallet. Uh, and that's for the pre-sale with a higher cap for the public sale. So then details will be confirmed, so you probably wanna keep an eye on Twitter and Discord, but that's looking the most likely at this point. Um, but yeah, that is a very, very high recap of the uh, Society Collection coming next week with a couple of sneak peeks here that we have shared in the Discord. Discord is actually gonna be locked in the next 24 hours with some one of ones being shared and then deleted before it goes public again. So if you are interested, I definitely recommend jumping into the Discord as soon as possible, just so you can catch them one of one sneak peeks and other alpha that will be dropped. Um, but yeah, that's something that you wanna act on sooner rather than later, as the Discord will be opened back up after the uh, original content in there has been deleted. So yeah, just something to keep in mind, but that is a very, very quick overview of the Society Collection. And now we just wanna dive into a little bit more detail on the utility of the NFTs. And now just flying through the benefits and utility of the NFTs within the Street Melt collection. So as we just mentioned, if you do own a Genesis collection, you do automatically get whitelisted for the Society collection dropping next week. You know, the more uh, Genesis melts that you hold, 
the more mints you will be enabled to get and even free mints for that secondary collection. Uh, the collaborative whitelisting and free mints, the second point on the board here, is more about collaborating with other projects. So if upcoming projects catch our eye that, that look really, really good, then we can um, try and get um, whitelisting opportunities for our community so they can jump into them projects as well. So a couple of the recent examples being Psychedelics Anonymous, which was a hugely successful project. I think the mint was at around 0 0.08 for the Genesis piece at least, which currently now sits at a floor of around 1.2 ETH, but it has been up and down between 1 and 2.5 ETH for the last couple of weeks now. So really, really good uh, opportunity there as well as uh, More Than Gamers which was another project that was super super hyped and we managed to secure whitelist for. Also you've got the community vandal voting where if you actually have melts you can um, basically vote in our community polls and making decisions moving forward with the long term roadmap. The continuous giveaways that we do for melt holders so we do have funds aside in our treasury where we can reward and airdrop uh, holders with giveaways, airdrops, etc., and just basically make sure that you know we are giving back to the community there. The intellectual property rights, so you can basically use that melt as you like. And then one last thing to really mention is that as we move forward with the society collection, it will be mandatory for people who want to cop that exclusive merch and then collaborations with other projects and clothing lines is that you will need to hold a society melt at a minimum uh, to qualify for them drops as well. So they're just some of the benefits and utilities. Of course, these will continue to change and we will add more benefits and perks as we move forward as a project. Um, but yeah, just to kind of give you a quick overview of what is in store for you if you are to purchase a uh, street melt NFT. So that is all for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. A little different to the usual analysis, but for those looking into the NFT space, as things are pretty hot right now, I thought it would be useful to share this info for you to take away and make your own decisions. Like I said, whitelist spots are still there to be won, but the easiest way to secure whitelist is by owning a Genesis Mel, and I will leave all the relevant links and information in the description for you to go away and do your own research. Like I said, private sale will go ahead next week on the 27th, and that is Australian Eastern time. Um, so we will put some more information in the Discord on Twitter about exact hours and times, a little bit closer to the time, but 27th of Jan is the uh, date to put in the calendar calendar, public sale on the 28th and then reveals shortly after that. Back to the usual technical analysis video next week guys, but thank you for watching this one and I'll catch you next time.